Welcome back to the Code Shop channel. Every business wants to manage its inventory efficiently and accurately, but manual processes can often lead to errors and delays. This is where Auto Barcode app steps in, offering a streamlined solution for handling receipts and deliveries quickly and accurately. This helps reduce errors and keep your inventory organized. So let's jump into our database and see how to use this tool to make your work easier. Let's get started. First, make sure you have the barcode app installed. Go to the apps module, search for barcode, and activate it if it's not already activated. To start using the barcode app, we need to enable it in the inventory settings. So let's go to the inventory app, configuration, and settings. Scroll down to the barcode section and tick the box for the barcode scanner feature. Once enabled, you will see additional options such as barcode nomenclature, which defines how information is converted into a barcode, and links for configuring and printing barcodes. For example, if you click print barcode commands and operation types, it generates a PDF with barcodes for common inventory transactions like receipts, deliveries, and internal transfers. You can print this page for quick access, and by simply scanning a barcode, Auto will automatically perform the corresponding operation. All right, let's return to our database. Now let's look at two ways to assign barcodes to our products. The first method is by clicking the Configure Product Barcodes button. This will open a list of all your products where you can assign or edit barcodes directly in the barcode field. The second method is to assign a barcode directly on the product itself. This is especially helpful when working with a single product or creating a new one. To do this, let's go to Products, Products, and select the product we want to update. On the Product form under the General Information tab, you will find the barcode field on the right hand side. You can either type the barcode manually, but a better option is to scan the barcode if the product already has one provided by the vendor. Okay, now let's process warehouse receipts using the barcode application. Once inside, you will see a barcode scanning screen with several options. Click the Operations button, which will take you to the Operations Overview page. Using the barcode scanner or the Auto Mobile app, you can scan barcodes for each transfer operation. When you scan a transfer type barcode, it opens the corresponding operation. For example, a receipt. Here we can see everything we expect to receive. Let's take an example of this receipt from Azure Interior. It contains a dining table, so we scan its barcode and auto immediately records the quantity. If you don't have a scanner or it's broken, you can click this button to enter the barcode manually or use your phone's camera to scan it. When you click this gear icon, you will see different options, such as print barcodes. If your vendor has not provided the barcodes on the items, you can print them out and stick them on the products when you unload them for easy scanning. At the bottom there are options for add product, if you need to add products to the operation, put in pack and validate if you want to validate the whole operation at one time. Once you've scanned everything, all you have to do is click the validate button to complete the receipt. Or we can scan a validation barcode to complete the process. A message appears confirming that the transfer has been validated. If you are talking about deliveries, the validation process is the same. Just return to the barcode scanning screen, click on Operations button, select Deliveries, and here you will find all the delivery orders to be processed. And that's it. Processing receipts, deliveries, or other inventory operations with the barcode app is fast and efficient. It eliminates manual data entry, making it an essential tool for streamlining inventory management. Thanks for watching. See you next time.